Welcome to Gran Turismo 7 and you may notice ab about today's video, the, the Renault R4 GTL video. I just messed up the microphone on, on the intro actually and it, it was embarrassing to me. It was, I just realized that after the video, do you know what editing last night? Oh my god, it was the most embarrassing thing I ever done in a whole entire YouTube video. Well, for a couple of years. This is a, on G, on the video on the YouTube. This this one I completely messed up uh, the yesterday's video. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that actually. But even though after doing the every video, I realized that last last night it's pretty much messed up. <laughs> but since we have a new car, well actually I, could, I have no idea what to do. I wanted to review the one legendary car, but already bought it. Or actually, I bought it already before I recorded. It. We are on the legendary cars. You may notice a bunch of cars that have it on this game, including the most expensive one, the McLaren F1 as well. Yeah, I probably know this one as well. Yes, but since I want to review, review one of these cars, one of these cars actually the most legendary, the the, the starter of the mid-engine supercar actually, the, the starter, the daddy of the, the greatest, the greatest of all time, the daddy, the, this one here, this is the one I want to talk about. This is the daddy of the her all and also the revolutionized of the supercar uh, back in his 60 and also one of the most beautiful car ever built the Lamborghini Miura P400 Bertone hey yeah it, it was the prototype as well you may notice it this is the one that, this is a car which has changed the game of of the supercar industry well a car making industry actually the one in the the coolest thing is this particular car also who oh, yeah you may notice the hey, Grand Turismo trophy on the pebble beaches well this is the one of the car I literally he won to who to collect yeah th and also one of the greatest car of all time one of the greatest car of all time it revolutionized the layout mid-engine rear-wheel drive and also best sounding as well it, yeah yeah you may notice the legendary Lamborghini, his V12 house supercar from Le Lamborghini Miura Kun to Countach to the Diablo, Murcielago, and also Aventador. And the current one, the Revolto. Yeah, uh, the Revolto. You know, the newest Lamborghini. It has a hybrid V12 engine. And yeah, you may notice. And this particular car, I literally love it so much. The engine of this thing is a 3.9 liter V12 engine. This is Lamborghini's greatest of all time. I'm supercar of all. Oh, the Lamborghini Miura uh, is the one of them. Actually, it has 350 horsepower and 368 newton meters of torque, 980 kilos of weight, and also manual gearbox. The manual gearbox is the one of the greatest gearbox of all time, and also the one. One thing is, the Mura uh, is the one of the greatest one. If you open the door of this Lamborghini Mura, both sides, it is shaped a re re resemblance of the bulls or the horn. Yeah, the, the door. Is, oh, yeah, I know the door. Oh, actually, it's pretty much the it represented bull, a bull's horn. Um, the legendary Mura supercar was actually Lamborghini's midship mid design, the first one, and the first midship. This car is chassis number sef 706, the second of the five cars ever built, and the oldest Mura in existed. Ever for even for a brand as historic as Lamborghini, the Mura is a special. A legendary, yeah. This is this the Mura is one of the legendary supercar of all time, and I pretty much love the, the shape of it. The chassis designed by Gian Paolo uh, Delara. If you don't know who's Delara, Gian Gian Paolo Delara, you know the Delara, right? The the same the same company, which is the same name for the. He or the Delara SS23, that that super formula guys, was displayed without a body and a 1965 Touring Saloon. 
<laughs> to reach salon. No, sorry, sorry, I said salon. I said salon. So I mean salon. <laughs> Those who saw the it so it was to show her the sign of the Lamborghini was, was going to start racing. The the reaction was enough. The show company founder Ferrigio Lamborghini to greet by its development. You may notice Ferrigio Lamborghini as well. He also made the GT, the 350GT, the, the also, also the Lamborghini tractor as well. And this car is the game changer of the all. And it's the first prototype Mura was completed in following year in 1966. The chassis number 706, 0706 was miracle miraculously survived these years without any restoration work. Whoa, is it with the, without restoration work? Whoa, how cool is that? And it was into the Pebble Beach co Concourse, the Elegant in 2008 when it won the GT Trophy. Yeah, the Gran Turismo Trophy. This one won, won in 2008. Wow, how cool is that? And cost me 3750000 of oh, people thinking, you're not enough money to buy. Hey, what it is? Well, actually, I bought it with a. How pe some people know this, but well, actually, I bought it before recording. Actually, it's uh, actually this, this. That's why I prepare early. Early. Yeah, that's why. So play the tape. Flashback. End of flashback. So, why you where are you gonna bring the, the Lamborghini Mural? Uh, where is it? It is the one of the hometown as well. The Autodrome International. You know, what a the Autodrome. The Autodrome oh, National oh, Monza, which is a Monza actually. I gotta say that it was a Monza. Yeah, I always say I don't want to do the Monza race track as your per, per usual. <laughs> so, let's get started anyway before we. People gotta take it. Where's my my microphone's voice? <laughs> okay, I I just, I connected already on on my controller. Uh, don't worry about it. So let's get started anyway.
The cool thing about Lamborghini Miura was they not that not just her changing the automotive history and all, but they also changed the game of the supercar as well. And you may notice that this one is a five-speed manual gearbox. Yeah, it was five-speed gearbox. Five-speed manual gearbox. <laughs> and the look, the interior-wise is pretty much simple as well. And and one thing is, oh yeah, is and you may notice the engine is a it was a sideways rather than a longular way as well. This particular Mura is it. This is the one the the P hundred the Pope the Bertone the prototype version on it. And you may notice that this is the one the also the earliest the earliest Mura and also the prototype. Hey, for I just realized that the one thing about this car, the shape of the as well and it's so beautiful I know people thinking wait why this is about 50 he's seven years old whole car are still in the here looking beautiful yes the most beautiful one here even though it's 57 years old yet yeah, you may notice it night this is 1967 and actually 57 years old car can and such has a beauty as as today, yeah, it is 67 years old. It, it is 67 years old. It's a 1967 car. <laughs> I always loved it how the, this classic was. Even the price today, over what, over two and a half million pounds for for the today's Lamborghini Miura uh, SV. But still, beauty. It was a still beautiful car, uh, as today. The revolutionized. Here's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive V12, the mid-engine V12 supercar by Lamborghini. He not just st that. It started from Mura to Countach to Diablo, Murcielago, Aventador, and current one, the Revolto. Yeah, Revolto. Who oh, is the newest flagship of Lamborghini's V12 engine? Look at that. It has a winding. Winding windows. <laughs> that's that's a cool thing. Even though it's 900, 900 plus kilos on there, 970 kilos on this car, 980 kilos on this car, are it's pretty much lighter than the today's supercar as well. Uh, well, and less than an, oh, a ton. And actually, the design of this car is pretty much young, early 20s of this, the designing of the, the Lamborghini as well, the Lamborghini Miura. Uh, you may notice about it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more any other gra any other game on the, this channel or, or also Grand Turismo as well, put it on notification on bef because also I do the live stream as well. Be sure to smash a like, subscribe if you are new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also Hoyo Lab. Link in the description box below. See you guys soon. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.